today let us find an upper bound for the number of bit operations required to compute n factorial where n is a positive integer we know that n factorial is the product 1 into 2 into etc n that is product of first n positive integers this product can be found using a number of steps in step 1 we can find the product 2 factorial into 3 and in the second step the partial product formed in the first step that is 3 factorial can be multiplied by 4 in the third step 4 factorial the that is the partial product obtained in step 2 can be multiplied by 5 and so on and this process stops when we find the product n minus 1 factorial into n this product is obtained in the step n minus 2 thus we can see that we require n minus 2 multiplications to obtain n factorial thus we have decomposed the process of finding factorial into a number of multiplications we know that the total number of bit operations required to obtain factorial is equal to number of multiplications required into number of bit operations required in each multiplication to find the number of bit operations required in each multiplication we can observe that in the first step we multiply the numbers 2 factorial and 3 in the second step we multiply 3 factorial and 4 in the third step the multiplication involves the numbers 4 factorial and 5 and so on that means as we go down at, as we proceed further the numbers involved in the multiplication becomes larger and larger so the number of bit operations required in each multiplication will be less than or equal to the number of bit operations required in the last step we know that when a k bit integer is multiplied by an l bit integer the number of bit operations is less than or equal to k into l so the number of bit operations required in the last step of our algorithm will be less than or equal to number of bits of n minus 1 factorial into number of bits of n now if we assume that n is a k bit integer then each of the numbers 1 2 etc n minus 1 which are all less than n will have at most k bits then the product n minus 1 factorial which is equal to 1 into 2 into etc n minus 1 where 1 has at most k bits 2 has at most k bits and so on n minus 1 has k bits so the product will have k plus k plus etc plus k that is n minus 1 copies of k which will be equal to n minus 1 into k bits since when a k bit integer is multiplied by an l bit integer the number of bits in the product is at most k plus l bit integer so n minus 1 factorial will have at most n minus 1 into k bits the, our bound is less than or equal to n minus 1 into k into number of bits of n which is equal to k and this is less than n into k square since n minus 1 is less than n so the total number of bit operations required which is equal to the number of multiplications required into number of bit operations required in each multiplication will be bounded by 
n minus 2 into n k square and we know that k represents the number of bits in n so this can be expressed as n minus 2 into n into log of n to the base 2 plus 1 whole square since this value is much larger than the actual value we can find a rough estimate of our upper bound as n square into log of n to the base 2 square by omitting 1 and using the inequality n minus 2 less than n 